I think as you've all noticed, uh, I've put quite a few lights on my layout lately. And I've been asked a few times which which methods I use, what, uh, how do I do it? Well, there's three ways of putting lights on. Um, I'm going to try and explain the three different ways. Well, first of all, you can do it through your auxiliary on your controller. This is an old controller, it doesn't work anymore. But just as an example, as you know, on the back, you've got an auxiliary which you can run lights from, but it is 15 volts. So some of the older lights, I think they, I think they may be a flashman. I've got two sets here, two types, which I have on my layout. I run these from the auxiliary on my uh, controller. I have a, I have an Elite down there, which I use for it. Um, they're very good, but uh, it's 14 and a half, 15 volts, so you literally got to take your feed from either your track bus or, as I say, from your auxiliary on your controller. Then we can go on to an ordinary 12 volt uh, transformer, which is this one. Which again, they're very good. Um, I'll plug it in. Just, just bear with me. Right, I've plugged it in, and I've got a. A grain of wheat bulb beer or a grain of rice, I'm not sure which, is, which it is. But as you can see, just connect up to that and you've got your, your light there. Now with these, the 12 volt, but they will only, I would say about, you could put about 8 to 10 on, on these uh, with grain of wheat, grain of rice. Uh, so to me, you're far better off with your LEDs, but I'll, sh I'll show you that system in a minute. And don't forget, these are not regulated. Where you do really and truly you need a regulated transformer. Now I'll just go on to that. But you can see what I've done there. You, all you've got to do is, of course, solder, solder extensions on, run them through your board and, and onto your... It's come apart now, I'm trying to hold them. But you can see, see it's working there. Obviously you use these connectors underneath. You could have oh, half a dozen. As I say, run up to about 10 or 12 with those. But that is the maximum. And of course there is another one. Uh, you, you buy some of those Belisha beacons or signs which I've got. And they run off 3 volts. The cars with the flashing lights on top run off 3 volts. So you literally get a pack with two batteries in. Uh, giving you a 3 volt. But uh, you can run off 12 if you put the, um, I was just looking for them, uh, you can run off uh, 12 volts if you put these resistors on, so in other words you've got one resistor you've got to attach to your live wire, uh, again the extensions on, run it through your board and run it to your, to, your, to your line. But what I wanted to show you was, is this one, there's a beauty of these, I've shown them before, they are I'm just trying to get focused. If you can see that, you've got 3 volts set in, 4.5, 5 volts, 6 volts, 7 volt, 9 volt, and 12 volts set in on there. So literally, if you want to run LEDs which need resistors to do 12 volts, you don't bother with resistors and you can run them straight on 3 volts. And these are regulated. I'll show you the packet. <coughs> Come in a packet like this. I buy them locally. Um, there's a firm called Yorkshire Trading where I get them from, which you, you probably won't have in your days, is obviously. But I've been onto Amazon, looked on Amazon's website, and you can buy them on there. They're approximately £9.99, £10. Just hang on a second again. Right, I've taken it out of the case, and this is how it comes. You get the fitted on the end. Uh, and these fittings, but literally what I do is chop this off and then you've got your two leads there, your live and your positive, your, your live and your negative. Just strip them back and as I say you can then set that to whatever you're using. I'll just give you another example now using this other one. Right, this is an LED uh, street lamp. You get uh, Six in a packet there for £8. And they come with the resistors. But of course, 
I've not fitted the resistor on there because now I've got this transformer which is working off of 3 volts, regulated 3 volts as well. You must keep on a regulated one because if you don't, a normal transformer will go a lot higher when it's switched on. So you get a boost of power and it blows the lamps. But I've been using these now for a while and as you can see, I'll show you some other, I'll show you what else I do with them but I'll just show you some on the layout now. I've heard people say they're not very bright but uh, they're bright enough to me anyway. Let's put that down. Now all these street lamps down here are all running off the 3 volt transformer regulated. Keep printing, pressing the word regulated must be. I have uh, 12 lights running down there. I've also got the sign boards of another one around the corner. I have two sign boards, three sign boards. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's 12, 13, 14. There's 14 lights running off that one transformer, and you could put plenty more on. That's the beauty with LEDs. Now, then, these other station lights, these are normal 12 volt. Uh, will be grain of grain of rice, a grain of wheat bulbs. Those. But the only two is those is they get very hot, whereas your LEDs don't. Uh, again, they were cheap enough. I think I got six for about nine pound out of these. But of course, they've got to run off 12 volt. But you can run them off an unregulated dose. Uh, it doesn't need to be regulated. I know it sounds complicated, but best thing is to have a regulated one, and you can play safe then and you can run on either 3 or 12 or whatever you need. That's the police car. Uh, I bought that for I think about £23 um, with the blue light obviously on. Now that runs off the two batteries as we say on 3 volts or 12 volt resistor but I've wired it down direct now onto my 3 volt supply from the regulator transformer. It's no problem. Now then I've just done a cheaper one there. I bought these flashing LEDs that are, that are a pound each. Uh, they are 12 volts. There's no... Uh, they just connect straight onto your 12 volt. So literally I drill a hole in the car, run the wires through and they're onto a 12 volt supply. Um, I've got another one down here as well. The police box there, that's another one of these one pound flashing lights again I've drilled through the police box and just wired it through onto my 12 volt system and then we have the the signs there for some reason or they're not flashing as good as what they did to start with but these are literally on 3 volts and they run normally on the batteries but again I've run it through onto a 3 volt regulated supply again transformer and put the two on, there's a taxi now. So I'd like to go around switching these battery uh, connectors on. This just gives you a bit of an idea anyway. As I said, these, are, these, these down here are the uh, 14 to 15 volt lights which are running. If I can show you down there, I've got an elite down there and I run some from the auxiliary on that. Just trying to show you that uh, billboard. Um, it's very awkward when you're on your own. But you can see I've put extension wires on there. Uh, the two lights on that billboard. I'm going to drill through, put it on the table and show you. I'll just let go of those so the light will go off. And then I've, you need to, you can either put tape on, but I, I use these sleeves, uh, the heat shrink tubing. I put those on, uh, run it through, and again that'll be run then direct off the 3 volt transformer. As I said, there's no need to put resistors on then. I mean, I could just show you an example of what you can get. There is uh, six lamps there, the doubles, uh, priced at £8. I think it was just £8. Again, resistors come with them if you want to uh, put them through onto 12 volt, but again, don't forget it wants to be regulated. Uh, or you can put it through onto your 3 volts direct and not bother with resistors. I have some more here. Um, 
smaller ones, which again I've used on these billboards. Oops. But they also use for making street signs up. You can you can just see those little street signs, uh, road signs. Uh, you just cut them out and paint them, uh, glue them on. Uh, as an example, again, there's one down there um, showing there's a level crossing coming up, and one down there is again showing the railway crossing. They're all lit up. Again, these are working off three volts with no resistors. I'd say it sounds confusing, but it isn't. But what I'm trying to say is that it's so easy to just buy these trans transformers, put your LEDs on, uh, and just don't do away with the resistors and run them straight on onto three volts. Um, and you can put, I don't know how many, I'm not an electrician, but I would say you could put at least 30 onto one transformer. Uh, I know they, they burn a lot, a lot less than what. Uh, the others do. So to me this is the only way to do it. Right, you can see where I've dropped the lines through the base board. I got tangled up. I'm gonna put that shrink tubing on now. So I'll just show you how easy that is as well. Right, I've got that heat shrink tubing in flesh over the joints. You need that really because if they touch you're going to get a short. Put the heat going on. I'm told you can even use a cigarette lighter to do it but I'm getting posh. Only, I think I paid about £14 for that. Just these 10 seconds or so just to heat it up. Don't touch it with your fingers, you burn. I use my pliers. And that's it, sealed. I'll, I'll just do the other two and then I'll show you it all working. I'll have to connect into my 3 volt supply, which I'll have to search for it. Uh, where is it now? It comes into here. Ah, oh, yes. If you can see there, I marked it up. As I say, I didn't want people to see under my baseboard or my table because that's my three volt supply in there so I'll just connect it into there then I'll show you them working and there we are we've connected those wires in now to that three volt uh, connector up there and I say any professionals out there electricians I know it's a mess under here but uh, there's only me can see it normally I suspect a lot of you like me not very professional but it's first, it's only 12 volts, 3 volts in that case, not going to do much damage. And there you have it, that's the sign that we just put in. I fit through, and it's working on 3 volts without resistors. But like I say, I keep saying it, don't forget, get to regulate it, transformer. <laughs> There's one lot of lights I forgot to mention, the well, LEDs again, the strips of LEDs. As you can see, there's three on a strip there. Again, you just put extension leads on these. You can see where they come from, where any of the most of the lights come from. But at two pounds, it's a, a nice price. <coughs> I use these in a lot of my buildings, actually. Um, and I've got these run off 12 volt. So, literally, you need two, two transformers, one run on three and one run on, on 12. And then you serve. You can do most of your housing with these, and you can buy them in strips. I think you can get up to 12 on a strip. I have one down there under the engine shed that's on 12. Um, and so just join it in with your 12 volt system. Anyway, I hope this being is helpful to some of you. I know most of you will know how to do it, and etc. But I know it's a bit confusing with these. 3s and 12s and 14 volts and I'll be honest I, I wasn't too sure myself about regulated. I, I blown one or two earlier on. Uh, we're not using a regulated transformer and of course when you talk to anybody that knows and know they say well unregulated you get when you, you know, say when you start them up you can get a, a boost in energy and it can blow these uh, 
these three volt, 12 volt lights, the LEDs. So I've said it about six times, eight times, I'll say it again by the regulator transformers. As you can see, we've got quite a few lights there now. There's still some more to go. I've got two packs there to uh, install yet. This certainly brings the layout to life, especially at night time. I know I'm not very good at explaining things, but uh, if anybody wants to ask me anything, just come back, private message, or just ask me on the normal YouTube. I'll get them others on. And I say, I know it's a bit of a mess under there, but I seem to manage it alright. I'm not sure about these blue lights there. It, it, it doesn't look blue on here, but it's, it's blue. It's blue from here, in other words. I'm say for a pound. Let's get out of your own, can you? Just come back today. I've just had these lights fitted on the front and the, uh, the firebox fitted there. Uh, see it flickering away. It's that called Jason Edwards that's doing this for me. A nice job. I'll see that running later. <laughs> 